Here we have the mirror in its rear mirror cell. You note that there are four very large fans running on the back here. These fans are hanging on rubber butyl O-rings uh, to absorb the vibration so it wouldn't be transferred directly into the uh, telescope itself. Uh, you got a couple switches. I'm not sure if it's in the frame here or not, but you got fan one. That turns on the center fan. Fan two turns on these auxiliary fans. You would run those at the beginning of the night when you're getting your uh, scope down to temp. This will be the fan you probably run all night after you've turned these outer ones off. Third switch down here is ANSC, which is Argo Navis Servo Cat. That switch turns on both the Argo Navis and Servo Cat at once. Uh, that way you never burn it out. Like there have been people on the web who said they've blown the internal fuse if they've had just the Servo Cat on and not the Argo. So that's the uh, logic behind that. Uh, these are your three collimation knobs right here. They're very fine thread, so you can really get your collimation right on as you turn it. Uh, maybe once a year, these are spherical bearings. If you see, uh, you know, everything just turns like butter on this. Uh, once a year, use some uh, silicone grease and uh, grease all those bearings, re-grease your uh, threads right there. Uh, Every time you take the scope out, I just do a quick check, make sure none of the bolts have come loose or anything from travel. You know, sometimes you go a thousand miles to get where you're going. So uh, that's about it on the rear end. Pretty, uh, pretty simple there.